Hi guys, welcome to the third video in this series on developing your corporate website. Today we're going to look at developing a, um, an, an email subscriber list. Um, and some people may think that's strange given that not a lot of companies do that. But let's just, but let me just walk you through the logic. Oftentimes you're going to work very hard to get uh, traffic to your site and to get potential customers to your site. If you're using AdWords or, or Facebook ads, um, these are hugely expensive. And yet, a lot of people just let those, let that traffic go to waste. Yeah, they might come, they might look around, they might even buy something. Um, but there's a certain select number who might be interested, but they're not quite sure. And in this instance, it would be very helpful if we could just capture their email address. So we've got, we've got their, a potential customer for life in some respects. Um, it's just, it's just a hugely efficient way to, uh, conduct, uh, business online, in my opinion. So today we're going to look at how we can actually capture the, uh, email addresses of, of, of some of your, of, of some of your visitors to actually See if we can pitch them to pitch them their product or a service later down the line. Um, so essentially, um, we'll probably be if if we see we've got a long post, um, this will probably be an external pitch or call to action, or you might have another page which says something like um, um, I don't know, interested in working for us or sign up, and you can click on that page. There'll be a uh, there'll be a fairly decent uh, uh, and comprehensive call to action, and at the very bottom, you, they, uh, the uh, the visitor will be prompted to um, sign up and uh, provide their email address. Generally, in exchange for some kind of uh, I don't know free goodies, this could be a short guide on how to uh, I don't know enhance the uh, SEO of their website or how to develop more uh, uh, how to uh, find generate more leads or something like that so we can exchange for their email address so I'm just going to show you how we're going to do that first of all we're going to go to uh, I've got the name here it's MailChimp and this is essentially a company that allows you to uh, generate these lists and generate forms which you can use within your site and then you can manage your your subscribers from this from their website and it's free for for any list for hosting a list below a hundred sub subscribers so if you can actually top that and actually break through that uh, barrier and actually get to the point where you have to pay you're actually doing very well um, I've obviously as you can tell I've just uh, I've already registered if you go to MailChimp you will probably be asked to register and um, but this is very quick and it wouldn't take very long to get to this campaign page here. You'd probably just have to enter in your email address and your, and a password and username. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click create a list. Right, I've got something here. You can, you can see I've already got one going at the minute just as a, just as another example, but I'm going to create a new one here. Yeah, we want to create a new list. And the list we're going to call it NE. Oh, I forgot the name now. Any web design. And the default name, again, any web design. Or you might want it, I don't know, Ed from whatever takes your fancy. And then we have the default email to re reply to. This is very important because if they're interested in your service, then you want to provide an email which will respond to that. I'm just going to include corporate my email address at the minute. Edicotton Umbria dot UK. And again, I'm just going to have those my default any web design. You can, I mean, if you get really into it, you can start playing with the different uh, captions and headings and see what uh, you know what the, the different conversions you get. But really, 
Design. There we go. Um, but really, this is just, you just need bare bones at the minute. Here's just prompting you to write something in about uh, letting them know why they're getting the female. Can't write today. I'm just doing something. I'm just doing something very brief. You're probably going to just want to do something a lot more uh, elaborate. It doesn't have to be too long, but think about it a little bit. Um, this is just a Georgia dress. What am I going to use? Tell you what, I'll, I'll use the same one. I might as well. Good. And I'll this it really doesn't matter too much. Pretty much if someone subscribes to you to your uh uh list or to your uh, whatever you're providing, perhaps you're providing a, a number of emails or subscribing to your course on generating leads, um then if they subscribe to it you you might want to get you you might want to know as soon as they do it. I do, just because I like to uh figure out at what point my traffic is coming in. I want to see how well my lists are actually doing. Right. We've created our we've created our list. Now within that we now need to generate a sign up form. This is what we're going to link to from our from our new page that we've developed in WordPress. Just a few words on this. Generally if you set up if you're you if you paid for a domain and a um and a and a hosting provider, you'll probably want to embed the form within within the actual uh, site. If we just have a quick look at uh, my website, you can see you can see that on the left, on the uh, on the right hand side, there is these areas. You know, here I've got lots of subscribe to the blog um, from this section. And pretty much you can embed this uh, call to action within within the column, which makes it easily visible and can impact upon the conversion rates. Um, you're not able to do that in the free version because WordPress doesn't allow you to play around with the code too much, which is actually a very good thing thing because I don't want to get bogged down in too much of the coding because it's 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 needless it's needlessly time consuming. Um, we are just going to attach a link and we're going to uh, create a, a button out of some text. But here you can see, look, very basic, we want your email address, your first your first name and your last name. Um, if you want any more info, you know you can add it. You know if you want their phone number. I'm sure you can just add it straight in, right? Um, I don't really want that. In fact, I don't even want their last name because, again, I think it's a bit needed. And you want, you don't want as many, you I mean, you might just want the email, you know. Some people just say, I don't, I don't care about any of this other stuff, I want email. And, um, just a, a quick prompt. Right, okay, so here we've just got a quick call to action. Again, a lot of the times um, the visitors might want to exchange their email address for something. Uh, it's less likely that they're going to subscribe for no reason unless they really like the content or what you're doing. But um, So it's, it's good to provide some kind of offer, uh, which can be put together in just a few hours, really, um, if you just by re reading a couple of books on lead generation or reading a few blogs, you can kind of consolidate that into something quite valuable. Again, you don't want to offer them shit. You want to, what you want to offer something of value because that's how you're going to get them to keep coming back and potentially actually um, request your services in the future. 
you can ad adjust, you know, the color of all these things, you know, uh, you can get, I'm not going to adjust it too much, but obviously you can adjust the background and the header and the font, you can experiment, experiment with this in your own time, but this looks fine to me. So let's just, let's just skip this, you know, it looks good enough, and essentially, here is the URL, right? We've generated this list, this form, you know, and here is the URL for it. Um, and that, and this is this is important because we're going to link that within our text within our website. Um, so let's see if this works. Let's see if I paste this URL in. Okay, look, any web designs, you know, we've just created this. Um, Someone clicks, clicks, clicks on the link from their website and then they get onto this page, they enter their email address and that, that comes forwarded to us. Um, I'm just going to try and embed that within our actual... Where are we? Right, I'm just going to... This, this by the way, is just... This one's a joke. Uh, this is obviously my site. Uh, a lot of it is just developed when, when uh, trying to create these videos for you guys. Right, we're just going to go to the dashboard and within our first post because I think I just want it embedded in the first post so you guys can see, you guys can actually put the link wherever you want. I would recommend putting it somewhere visible if possible but we are slightly limited we are slightly limited in the fact that we are we are using the free version. Right. So let's just say this is our pitch. This is our call to action. You know, you've you've you, you know you've attracted their attention. You've developed their interest. You know, and you and you sold them on your on your service. At the end, we can just have a quick call to action. Okay, this is just again very quick call to action. And when you're going to create a button, you just have to highlight the text you want to uh, use as a link. Go up here and see, so you guys can see. This little uh, icon allows you to insert the link. I've just copy pasted, you know, I've, I suppose you now I've just taken this URL. From the web page, then I've just left, uh, sorry, right click, paste, and just add the link. Update it. Right, let's. Let's open this link. Let's just. Uh, Load up the website again, our website again, and you. And then you type if it works. Right, okay. And here we have it. Just close this. Here's our link that we've embedded. And here. Essentially, they can enter in their email address, you know, um, the you know the the first name, email address. Then they can hit subscribe. That uh, that email gets tracked, that gets uh, sent straight to your wherever you've actually linked your email address to. So whichever email address you uh, assigned to the campaign, and the benefit this has over just 
adding your in, your uh, their email in in a contact form is that you can manage a huge number of subscribers from this point. You can send out a, a huge number of emails to the same people. You can also manage their activity. You can you can you can track whether they are reading reading your emails. You can track to see uh, all types of behavior. Um, so it is a huge a hugely valuable um, uh, service, and I would recommend you use it if. If it seems right for your business, which I can imagine will be for most of yours. I will go into more detail on this in the lectures, but for now, I think I'm going to leave it here. Thanks, guys.